Welcome to Temple Builders Carpentry. Temple Builders. We problem solvers. Temple Builders Safety First. Okay, Temple Builders, today we're talking about four ways to cut your lumber, okay? We're going to make it five because I'm going to add an extra one there. We know an extra one, which is going to be rip sewing, okay? So look down here at my whiteboard, okay? You got cross cutting. You got miter cut. You got a bevel cut. And you got a compound cut. All right, so right here, if we look at this lumber, we look at my lumber, let's say this a uh, two by four, okay? Now this is the face of my lumber right here, okay? Now this is my end grain right here, okay? And this section right here, this is my edge grain, okay? So this is called a cross cut because you have a 90 degree angle, okay? Uh, based off this edge, a 90 degree angle going across the face of your lumber and through the edge of your lumber, that's a cross cut, okay? And usually, you can use this to lay it out. This is a speed square, all right? I'm gonna show you a little bit later. Okay, come down here. Now, this is a miter cut. If you look at this miter cut, it's an angle. It's a, it's a line laid out at an angle on the face of your lumber, okay? And it's gonna cut that same line, your saw wheel, across the face and through the edge, okay? If you cut your, your lumber like this, this is a miter cut, okay? Okay, that's a miter cut. Now, if you look down here, my bevel cut, you see this is a square cut across the face, but it's an angle cut on your edge, okay? Opposite to this piece of lumber right here, okay? But this is a bevel cut. The bevel, the angle is on the edge, all right? But in a miter, the angle is on the face, okay? Now, when you put these two cuts together, you get a compound miter cut, which is a angle cut on the face, and an angle cut through the edge of your lumber. Okay, now let me demonstrate all these right here for you. All right, hey, oh yeah, I didn't show y'all that. Okay, when you're rip sewing, rip sewing is you're cutting the length of your board or of your lumber, okay? Parallel to the uh, wood grain. So, let me see, this saw is unplugged right here, okay? This saw is unplugged right now. So, if you're gonna rip, if you're gonna rip saw, You'll be cutting straight up like this, okay? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna demonstrate that right now, okay? But I am gonna demonstrate a cross cut. All right, let me show you what a cross cut looks like. This right here. First, okay, get your uh, speed square. Use your fence, this is the fence of your speed square, okay? Hook it on the edge of your wood, all right? Now, you lay out, this is a layout, which means I'm gonna mark my lumber, just like that. Okay, now I got my layout right there for a cross cut. Okay, this speed square is handy. It gives me, gives me a, squ uh, 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 a square edge. All right. And I don't believe, I don't believe that this, this lumber has been cut before. So this, this lumber is straight out of the factory. This is what they call a factory cut. Like when you're on a job site, you're the carpenter's talking about factory cut. This is a factory cut, okay? Should come straight out the factory square, you know? However close to square they get coming out the factory. All right, so I'm finna plug up my, I'm finna plug up my uh, saw. Okay, but hold up, let me show you something. Right here, this how you, you can angle your saw, okay, to get your bevel cuts like this, okay? I'm gonna put mine on zero. Make sure it's locked on zero. Okay, lock it down, just like that. Now it's locked down. Now I'm finna plug up my saw, okay? Let's plug this thing up, all right? And most of the time you'll see carpenters wrap it up like this normally wrap it up like that for it don't come out plug it up all right so when i cut this cross cut i can use my speed square right here to get as close to factory as i can all right let my saw ride my speed square okay now here we go you start your saw up away from your lumber yeah there go my cross cut right there all right and let me show y'all a miter cut all right, all I gotta do to get a miter cut, boom, right there. See that? See, if you know about speed square, you go look at my, you go look at my video on speed squares, okay? This is your 45 degree angle right here. All right, put it down there. Normally you have a 45 degree angle for a miter cut, all right? See that layout? There go a miter cut. It's an angle on the face of my lumber. All right, now let me cut that and show you how that looks. All right, so. Uh, miter cut don't have to be 45 degrees though. It really can be any angle, any angle on the face of the lumber. So that, that miter cut. And now, 
My bevel is still on zero, okay? For the miter. Start it up away from your wood. Right there, I got an angle cut on the face of my wood. There go my miter cut. Now I can show y'all a bevel cut. Okay, let me show you a bevel cut. Let me square it off for, first. I'm gonna square it back off. Cross cut it again. Okay, that was a cross cut. I just squared it off. Okay, now I wanna show y'all a bevel cut. So on a bevel cut, okay, let's say, gonna do it just like this. You want a square cut, you have a, a square line coming right here, right? Then look right there. See that? That was that was makes th makes this a bevel cut. That's what makes this a bevel cut. Because you got an angle on the edge of your lumber. Okay. Let me square this off right here. Okay, so see. I'm going to cut this line right here, and it's going to angle right there. That's your bevel. Okay, let's do this. All right, so to get this to get this bevel cut, first, I would say unplug your saw because I got to I gotta handle the saw a certain type of way, okay? I got to get my, so I, I, I'd rather you unplug it to do this one thing to do, which is you're going to unlock uh, your gauge right here for your angles. You look right here, you got zero, and I see 57 right there. Okay, but we're looking for a 45. Okay, we're gonna cut a 45 degree bevel on this. Okay, so you unlock, you unlock it. Remember, I'm unplugged, you unlock it, put it on 45. See right here? See, that got my arrow, I got an arrow right there. So I put that right there at 45. I could go further, see that? I'd be on 57 somewhere, but we're doing 45. So you put it right there, lock it into place. I get in the place. Now we good. Now if you look at the plate and you look at the saw, you see it's at an angle, 45 degree angle, right? Good. Now we can plug our saw up. Let's plug our saw up. Let's see if we can hit it right on that line. We see if we can hit it right on that line that I drew out. See what I'm saying? See, plug your saw. Remember, I wrap my cord like this before it don't come out. Some people might say that's not the right way to do it, but I've been doing it for a while, okay? Okay, remember now, I marked this thing Right there, remember this is a 45 degree angle. Mod it right there, right? 45, so let's see if we can cut that out. Okay, let's go for it. Start it back away from the wood. Right? Okay, you get there close, real close, that's real close. Okay, now there go your bevel. That's your bevel cut. Okay, now a miter mixed with a bevel is gonna get you a compound, compound miter cut. And let's show you what that look like. All right. Okay, now some people might be able to cut a, a compound miter cut with a handsaw. It's very difficult. I haven't done it before, but normally you'll use a compound miter saw right here. A, 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 a electrical compound miter saw, okay? All right, let me show you what that looks like. All right, come on right here. And you know what, At first I'm gonna unplug. Let's keep this unplugged for now, because I want to show y'all something. Okay, you come right here. Oh yeah, safety first now. Don't do what I just did. Well, I ain't have no choice. I could have waited to shoot this video, but I want to do the video right now. I don't have my guard right here, so don't talk about me too bad. All the carpenters out there, right? I ain't got my guard out here, but I'm gonna be very careful with this. I just ordered my guard. My guard was damaged, okay? So it should be in the mail. So next time y'all see the video, this is gonna be repaired. But hi -yo. right now, I'm gonna use this saw and be very careful, okay? So right now the saw is unplugged. Okay, here we go. Right here, that's plugged, it's unplugged. Okay, so for a compound miter cut, which is gonna be a miter cut and a bevel together, okay? So what we gonna need to do is, we're going to 
turn this off right here to 45 degrees. That's gonna be on the face of our wood right there. Okay, you see these numbers right here. I could have turned it this way. If I turned it this way, I got zero, 15 degrees, 30 degrees, it runs up to 40 degrees, it goes a little bit over 45 degrees. Okay, come over here. Let me show you this other gauge I'm messing with. It's another gauge right here. This is your bevel. This is gonna get me through the edge of my wood, okay? So I can unlock this back here, all right? Let's see if this will turn. See that? I let it pivot. Just unlock it. Boom. See this pivot right there? I put it on 45. Let them see right here. 45 degrees right there. 45 degrees right there. It don't always have to be 45 degrees, your angle, right? But, but 45 degrees is a common angle, okay? And I got 45 right there, and I got 45 right here. And that is going to get me a compound miter cut, okay? Now, we're going to plug this up. We're going to be real careful with this saw because it don't have a guard on it. This saw does not have a guard on it. But next time you see this saw in a video, it will have a guard on it. Okay? So, be careful with this saw. Now, you see, we can try to cut right through this layout. Boom, boom. Compound miter cut on the compound saw. this down okay lock my saw in place all right and i'm gonna unplug myself because i'm done with that all right now see that okay that's what you got all right so you gotta cut through the face and also through the edge crane and that's a compound miter cut okay so uh i didn't de demonstrate uh ripping but I showed you ripping is going through uh, the length of your lumber, going this way. Rip, rip sewing, okay? I might demonstrate that later. But if you like the content, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Become my apprentice. Temple Build.